This is the journey of how this guy built a million dollar underwater slide house in 100 days. The journey is incredible. The build is incredible. And we're about to see it right here. Look at this guy go. You can already see the slide coming into shape and he's dug so far down that his whole body, literally the top of his head is underneath the ground level of where he used to be standing. These guys are so, so talented, so, so incredible. And just remember where we started off, him with an idea and a chisel. And when we get to the end, your mind is going to be blown. These guys use primitive tools, tools that they've built themselves to create this million dollar underground water slide. And it's crazy. Look, even the ladder is made up from branches, from ties that they've got naturally from the forest that they are within. And the skill, I mean, if I tried to build this for my whole life, your boy wouldn't get anywhere close. Look at the detail in it. It's so impressive. Now, obviously, it's, it's put together. And it looks like they're doing it in a few hours. But this is spanned over 100 days total of hard labor, hard work, but more importantly, really smart planning. If you love a $1 million water slide in the back of your garden that goes underground, hit that thumbs up button. I'm hitting thumbs up because I'd love these guys to do this. It's so impressive. And I'm so glad it's documented to see just how incredibly talented they are. One of the great things is, you're probably thinking, how are they able to just chip away at the ground underneath them? The actual area that they're in, the ground is perfect for building like this. So they can carve away and already it looks incredible. And there is not a single drop of water in this pool yet. And I would already be super impressed if somebody showed me this. Oh, we can start to see the slide there. We can start to see the stairs coming down as well. And I'm really excited to see what they put in the underground little doorway there. What secrets will lie within this underground water slide? We're gonna have to wait to find out. Ooh, this is interesting. He's digging up grass from above ground. I wonder what he's gonna use that for. Down it goes. It could potentially be used at the bottom, maybe to act as like the ability to stop the water leaking and dripping through. Or it's just there to look really damn impressive. I mean, it's almost like installing your own natural green carpet. Look. Oh. Ooh. He's like cleaning it? Why is he cleaning the grass? I'm not going to question it though, because this guy is a. F oh, do you see that? Do you see the little gecko? I almost missed it. I was getting sidetracked by all the grass and water. I like to think that when these things are completed, not only the builders and locals get to enjoy the build, but some animals have some fun in there as well. And look at all of these natural springs around. Perfect for getting all of the necessary things to build. Now, don't forget, it may look like he's just turned around the corner to get there. It's probably been a long walk. Could even be a day just collecting all of these very beautiful, by the way, stones to fill out the inside of this underwater pool. Look at that. He must have done that trip so many times. The dedication from these guys. Mr. Hyun update. These guys are so talented. And I'm glad the world can see their work in action. Ooh. Is it going to be a fire pit there? Or is it... Oh, maybe for safety reasons, it could be like a little uh, fence. Just to make sure no one jumps over. Although, just going to put it out there. If the water's deep... Jumping in and cannonballing would be very, very fun. Oh, it's kind of like a castle. Dude, how is he building all of this stuff? I wonder if the, the general skill of building out there, like everyone has a far better ability at doing these things. Or if these guys are dedicated and have practiced this loads and loads and loads because they're just so good. Someone asked me to dig a hole right now. I wouldn't even be able to get a few feet. What the heck is... Is that... Dude, he's a... He just... He just slid down. That rock is huge! Look at him! 
How is he gonna move? Oh my gosh. They are strong, strong individuals. Oh, um, wait. It's gone smaller. How far has he rolled it? Wonder why they need the massive rocks. That's a good way of getting the rocks down there, though. But look, I, I don't want to ruin his incredible build or anything, but if those sit at the bottom of the pool and you put your feet on them, that's going to hurt. Okay, 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 no, no. He's using it to make a fire. It's about to say. I don't think people want rocks at the bottom of the pool. Dude, he's making a bow? Look at it, it's kind of... Yo, if he's making a bow, everyone watching right now has to subscribe. Look, I think he's making a bow. He's making a bow and arrow. Oh, he's putting string on the back. Is he going to go fishing with a bow and arrow? I know it doesn't make sense. But these guys know how to hunt and know how to build. What may sound silly to us is smart in reality. Yo, I'm look, I'm just saying he's brought the bow and, bows and arrows to a pond. All of you guys that said to me in the comments right there that he wouldn't use it for fishing. I mean, he used it for fishing. You gotta subscribe. Let's not forget, these guys need to sustain themselves. They need to eat. And he's actually using his workplace to cook and eat at the same time as well. And go ahead and continue the build. Otherwise, those 100 days could have turned into 150. 200 days, it could be a lot, lot longer. Look how much this guy's done all by himself. It looks incredible already, but is nowhere near finished. Time for the fire to go out. Play is over, everyone. No more eating for the moment. It's time to get back to work. Dude, he's so good at just digging. It's so impressive. He's going lower. <gasps> what? I thought he'd already done most of the pool bit. Look how much further he's going. I told you guys. That he's brought along the boy. He's brought along his boy to come and help out. This has been a solo mission up until this point. How crazy is that? It's time to excavate. It's time to bring all of the extra dirt back up to the top. And... Having another set of hands is going to be extremely useful for this. The question is, what is this little dig out area going to turn into? They've still got so much more to dig away. This is crazy. They literally build as big as their imagination can go. Because this is astronomically huge. I'm just putting it out there. If you were to build this in someone's back garden... You may be able to get away with, with charging a lot more than a million dollars if you're doing it all by yourself with hands and materials and equipment that you've built yourself. Oh, yo! Don't tell me it's a sitting area. It's like a... It's like... Oh my gosh. That alone would take me 100 days. They've just created like some incredible, cracked out, beautiful Lilo sitting area. They even got drinks. They even got cocktails. Look at them. Love and life. Big chilling. But the work isn't done yet. Oh no. They may have a nice place for cocktails and drinks. But the building work continues. Is that potentially an in water place? That, like when you're in the water, you can put things on it and drink and eat and hang out. While still being underwater. Or not underwater, but in the water. Not a single drop has been placed in there yet. And that's a large, large chunk of tree. Oh, wait, what the heck? That just go into the... Oh, yep. Yeah. Dude, imagine that, but filled with water. Now, this is what I'm talking about. I can't believe how far they rolled these rocks. The, the size of the rocks gets so much smaller by the time it gets there, just because of how much has been chipped away from it rolling. Oh, dude, he damaged the, the thing a little bit. Hopefully he hasn't broken the slide too much. Whoa. Rocks are all going, like, underneath the sitting area. That's really cool. What? Dude, I would have just kept the sides flat. And these guys are making it look like some sort of crazy Greek 
mythology build. It's absolutely incredible. These guys are dedicated. They know what they want to build. They've got a plan and it is all looking fantastic. And it's not even done yet. Oh, this is super important. If they want the water to stay in, the material they've chipped away at, which is brilliant for building in and carving in, will have water leakage. So they're going ahead here, covering it in almost like cement or basically an insulator for the water so that it can't leak out. It looks so cool. Rocks on one side. Two days later. <gasps> What's happened? They've given us a time jump. Has something bad happened? This doesn't sound good. Why am I freaking out? Why is it scary music? Okay, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Why did it do? Why did it, it didn't need to do that? It didn't need to do that. I got scared. Ooh. Last time we saw these guys build, they went for blue. I got to admit, the blue painting they did looked good. But they've changed it up a little bit and gone for green here. What ends up happening is whatever the water color is when it goes in, it will ultimately reflect or, or show the color that they painted it underneath. So we're going to have a cheeky green pool. Now, yes, if you wondered how the heck are they going to fill this pool and not a single drop of water's gone in, these guys have got it covered. Using very strong... Bamboo is one of the strongest building, like, natural building materials you can have. The water's going to flow all the way from that stream and river, and it's going to let it fill up. This could take hours, but not likely. Days? Probably. Maybe even a full week. Depends how much they've got pumping in. Now these guys are laughing. Yo, we're doing a little hand wrestle. Oh, damn, that guy's stronger. The water's coming in slowly but surely. And at this point, they've got just the final bits to make it look as good as possible. They're even sleeping there at night and they've got their own little fire. Dude, it's like something out of like a Zelda video game or something. Can you imagine? People would pay so much money. You know what? If they open these up and it was easily accessible by people, they could get a lot of tourism coming to the pool. Just saying. This looks insane. And the water is... Oh, one night. So did it take just one night to fill up? Oh my gosh. The water's here. He's getting off his lilo. He's washing himself. He's got the little sit-in pool area where he can sit down with his mate, hand wrestle, eat food, drink water. Look at this creation. A hundred days of work. How incredible. It is after all a water slide. Look at them sliding all the way in and the pool's so deep. It is perfect. They've even brought their dog along to have some fun as well. Guys, that was incredible. I'll leave a link to their channel down below. You can watch another one of their amazing builds on screen here. Click to watch it. It's even more incredible.